morning, guys. <laughs> it's uh, Friday morning. Uh, I got up well, a few hours ago, and uh, I started cleaning on, on this engine. Uh, I'm still waiting for my axle seals to put the uh, rear end in, on the frame. But, uh, you know, one of the most important things you can do when you're building an engine is, is cleaning. Cleaning everything. Uh, there's grime and, and grit and crap everywhere. Um, you're gonna need a bunch of different little tools. Um, you know, I have a little little brush like this um, that'll get inside the the water jackets and stuff like that. These things were plugged, just jams and stuff. I've cleaned this side out already, but uh, you know this brush is okay. But there's you can't get a lot of muscle behind it. So you know I I did the right thing and went in the house and grabbed the wife's toothbrush. Uh, don't worry, I'll I'll put it back. Um, you know, scraper to scrape off old gasket material and stuff, silicone. This little guy here, that's for cleaning up all your machine surfaces wherever, you know, two, two pieces go together and you need a good seal. Uh, I use a ton of this stuff, brake clean. Um, you know, it's like that, those commercials you see for hot sauce, you know, I put this shit on everything. So, that's good stuff. And one of the most important things, compressed air, you know. Uh, you can put the nozzle right in these holes and blow blow stuff right out of there. Um, this side here is pretty clean now, but I'm telling you, man, the crud was unbelievable. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to carry on cleaning. And when I get it all cleaned up, uh, and the rods and pistons all cleaned up, new rings on, uh, you know, I'll get, I'll get the pistons in, and we'll get this rotating assembly working. So, uh, that's where I'm at, and, uh, yeah, we might as well just get right to it. <laughs> so these water jackets were so jammed up with stuff. Uh, what I ended up doing was taking the garden hose and uh, turning the block on its side. And then I just, under pressure, just blew water in these holes until uh, everything started coming out clear. Did the same both sides. So uh, blew it dry with the air hose and... Uh, now we're going to continue on uh, cleaning it up. So I spent almost, uh, she's almost four hours cleaning this thing. So uh, she was she was pretty crusty. But, you know, it's, uh, it's looking good. And this is what I mean by clean. I mean, nice, shiny, clean surfaces. You know, I did where the fuel pump goes, the timing cover. So the heads, the intake. So, you know, she's ready now to... Uh, Put the pistons in so uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and grab the pistons and rods clean them all up too put new rings on and uh we'll start putting this rotating assembly together just to show you the difference real quick this one here that's how it came out of the engine so uh you know pretty uh pretty grungy uh but with a little bit of cleaning you know comes out like that much better so much nicer to work with clean stuff and you know much better chance of success when you're putting your engine together so there you go okay so it's saturday it's a scorcher out there man but uh you know i've cleaned up all my pistons so everything's looking good ready to put the rings in uh you know left cylinder head clean uh you know did both surfaces i'll get the exhaust side uh when i get it on the engine on the block but, uh, yeah, so it's all cleaned up, looking good. Right side, uh, yeah, not so much. Man, she is grungy. And this one was, this one was exactly the same. So, uh, it's not glorified work, but it's necessary work, and uh, it's got to be done. So, you know, it's about an hour, hour and a half on, uh, on each head to get them cleaned up. But uh, it is what it is. Okay, so it's uh, Sunday morning, and, uh, you know, the uh, wife doesn't want her toothbrush back. Um, in fact, she had a couple of suggestions uh, as to what I can do with the toothbrush. Um, I'm not going to do any of those because that sounds like it hurts. <laughs> um, so, yeah, she got me back by uh, cleaning the toilet bowl with my toothbrush. Uh, of course, she didn't tell me till after I brushed my teeth. Um, so, you know, I did the right thing and Gave her a big kiss and came out here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're going to throw some pistons in today. 
Uh, I'm going to throw some in first and then I'll show you probably on the last one what's involved with putting them in. And uh, then we'll be ready to bolt the heads on and uh, paint this thing. So, might as well just get to it. Uh, <laughs> I put the rings on. This is the last piston. And uh, I did film it, but for whatever reason, uh, I guess I didn't press the button right and it didn't record it. So I don't feel like doing them again, but uh, I'll just show you what happens. There's four bags. Two of them are marked third groove. Now there's eight pieces in here and 16 pieces in here. These are very, very thin, and that would be your oil ring. So you can see that kind of funky looking filler in the middle, and then there's a ring on top and below it. Then you've got a ring going on the in the center second groove and that's marked right on the bag that one has a has a mark on the uh, on the ring itself it's stamped right in in this case it said top uh, sometimes it'll be a dot but uh, yeah you always have that mark facing towards the top of the piston and there was no markings on the top ring and like I say there's a there's the gap for the top one uh, on the other side is the gap for the bottom one and the other ones are staggered as well. So none of those gaps line up, you know. Uh, basically, to get them on, the, the bottom one's very thin, the oil ring. And you just use these pliers. You get in, in here like so. Go like that, and it just spreads spreads the uh, ring apart, and you just slip it on. And then I put assembly lube on the bearing. And I'm going to put some assembly lube on the crankshaft and set the camera up there, and we'll get that uh, piston in the hole. Okay, so here's a piston. You'll see top there's a dot right there. That always goes to the front of the engine. So take it. Uh, I'm gonna rotate this a little bit to line up the crank. <laughs> Damn it. I just get it started. I've got a little flat wrench here. Put that there. Take the compressor. And this just squeezes the rings together so that it'll fit in the piston, in the cylinder, sorry. <laughs> and once it grabs the piston a little bit, like so, take that out. Make sure your spring compressor is tight to the surface so the ring doesn't, you know, ring doesn't pop out. Tighten it right up. That's about her. And, oh, I used my, uh, the handle, uh, the wooden handle of the hammer. And you can tell by the sound, you know, it sounds kind of hollow. Tap her down. You can hear that hollow sort of sound. And it's in.
and she's on. Hear how solid that sounds? And then we take our cap into the rod, some assembly lube on her. What the hell? There we go. Okay. And nuts on. Now I'm going to just snug them up with the ratchet and uh, rotate it a few times, make sure nothing is binding. And uh, And we'll, uh, like I said, rotate it a few times. Oh yeah, everything's working nice. Nice and smooth. Okay, so my next step is to rotate this over, get the torque wrench out, and torque down those, uh, all the rod ends, all the rod bolts. Uh, I believe it's 45 foot-pounds. I'm going to double check that. And uh, yeah, we'll come back when I'm, when I'm there. So I can confirm that 45 foot pounds is the value. Um, you know, you got to be careful on the web. Don't believe everything you see. Check and double check. So check, you know, I like to check three, four, five sites and make sure the values are the same. Uh, there was a couple there that were different. So, uh, you know, eight out of 10 were 45 foot pounds. That's what I'm going with. I'll tell you to go with three equal increments. So I've already tightened them to uh, 15. I'm going to go to 30 now and then uh, up to 45. So I'd like to start from that. Uh, we'll get to that one first. Here, click.
see. There we go. And we'll go bring it up to 45. We go. There we go. Okay, and last one. Done. So there you go. That's the uh, rotating assembly. So, uh, you know, all the pistons going up and down, doing all the good things they're supposed to. It's nice and smooth. Uh, no funny noises or anything like that. And, you know, really, there's the, the parts all went back exactly in the same place that they came out of. Uh, the only new components on that was the, uh, was the piston rings. So, um, you know, I think the biggest part of the job was was cleaning. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's done. So now I'm ready. I can put my uh, ready to put my heads on and uh, uh, camshaft and a bunch of other goodies. So uh, that'll be in the next video. Uh, you know, new subscribers, thank you much. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, you know, spread the word. Tell your buddies, and uh, you know. Car guys are car guys. Uh, they all know other car guys. So, uh, you know, let your uh, let your buddies know that uh, I'm out there. Um, yeah, it's a little cool today, but uh, it's supposed to get warm again in the next couple of days. Uh, I just had a bear <laughs> come right in front of my garage door. I was standing like eight feet away from it. And it just looked at me and then walked on down the driveway like didn't care. Um, it was... It was kind of cool kind of freaked me out though because he kind of come around from the from the back of the garage around the corner and i was standing right there he's what the hell but anyway i didn't move i just uh, sat there with my cup of coffee and uh, let him go on his merry way um yeah 
So uh, my axle seals did come in today, so I'm going to get that done too and get this thing rolling. Um, so, you know, we're, uh, we're getting close to needing a cab here. So uh, there's been more excuses and delays. Uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I'm supposed to be getting it now in two loads, all fenders and doors and the box first and then three cabs in the next load. I don't know why. But whatever. Um, yeah. So uh, we're, we're still moving along and uh, getting lots done. Uh, so, you know, if you're not doing anything else, get out in the garage and build something, man. Later, guys.